Welcome to the Busy Little House. I'm Karen. I got a pile of tangerines on sale at uh, Walmart. It's a buck a bag, or sometimes it'll be two dollars for the bigger bag. And uh, I got so many of them. I think I had six bags. I just took the whole shelf. I was like, you're coming with me. I'll be dehydrating tangerines today uh, for tangerine chips, or you can make the tangerine powder, whatever you like. I have three regular dehydrators that I've picked up at the used or second hand and uh, before I start this I'm just going to jump over to the Gabe problem that we woke up with and here it goes. So this guy woke up with pink eye today. You gonna make them all better? <gasps> Do you want to make them all better? Hey get that big... Yes. Big mama pink. Big mama pink. Yes. Pink. Look at me, hun. Yes. This one, mama. This one. Okay. This. You're going to make it better. Don't touch them, okay? I'm going to hand my mama, mama, my dad. Hand mama. Okay, ready? So what I'm going to use for his pink eye is a little bit of the way off of the yogurt. So if you make your own. Uh, just the liquid off the top and if you buy it it's best to use the plain yogurt I don't have any at the moment and he just woke up with it so I'm gonna go with the vanilla flavored but uh, this one hasn't been mixed up yet so I haven't taken anything from it yet so I'm just gonna take the clear way off the top which doesn't it's it's worked for me in the past so I'm just gonna use that The way it works is, since it's a bacterial infection, we're just fighting it with probiotics instead of antibiotics, and uh, put it in each of his eyes. If you're breastfeeding, seriously, that stuff is medication, read up on it. Sounds hilarious if you don't know, but it's really good for ear infections, eye infections. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see if he'll, he'll let me put some in his eye. I'm just going to soak a Q-tip in it and then hopefully get it to drop. If you have a dropper, that's great. Can I, can I wipe this on your eye to fix it? Good, thank you. Don't touch, remember, don't touch it. Hush. So what happens is for a few minutes, he keeps his eyes closed because it's very itchy. It's really, okay, hush. Keep your eyes closed for one minute, okay? Oops. So, um, don't contaminate the eyes. Don't use a Kleenex on one or and then touch the other. Don't rub it too much with any Kleenex. Um, just wipe away the excess. And if he, because oftentimes they'll get dry eyes around it or cracked eyes or the skin around is really sensitive, um, you can use coconut oil in between. So I just reapply. I'll just add a few more drops throughout the day whenever I can get him to sit still long enough. And, and he's such a good boy. He just sits here. Hey, you let me torture you a little bit? Don't let him touch his eyes. He's super contagious, so keep his hands clean. Uh, I've put gloves on them before to remind them that they can't touch their eyes. He's really good so far. It is 10.30 on Thursday morning. So let's see how fast this works. I'll keep the curtains closed today, and if he has to go outside, I need to put glasses on him. He's going to need the sunglasses so, uh, so as not to damage his eyes. And that's it. Gabe, take your sis out for a second. What do you have to say? Look at me. What do you have to say? Say something. Are your eyes feeling better? You can see? Look at You see a birdie over there? Listen. Hey. Get that out of your mouth, you big baby. Hey. Hey. The claw. Trouble. Hi, welcome back. So, moving on to the tangerines. Wash them all in vinegar. Just white vinegar and water and uh, scrub them down really quick. Leave them to dry, then I'll be slicing them really thin, throwing them onto the dehydrator, 
I'm going to need to make an outdoor dehydrator one of these days with the screens and... Okay, here we go. <laughs> It's easy to see which side would face upwards on these kind of trays. But these things, they kind of have an edge almost on both sides. So I placed all my tomatoes and such on the wrong side, so just a heads up. Make sure you know which way your dehydrator goes. Oops. I got some tangerine on me. Whenever I see deals at the store, I'm totally like, start the car, book a bag, tangerines. I know people do this in a bowl first, but I just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them. You can add different spices that you like, however you like your tangerine chips, but there we go. If I can get them thin enough, I'll have a thin pile and then a thicker pile so that they'll be dried evenly. I'll be dehydrating these as well and making them into a tangerine powder. Where's my camera? I ran a lot. Are they itchy? Or are they are they all better now? Yes, Mama. Look at me with those beautiful eyes. All right, somehow I forgot to record his eyes, but they're much better. Here, I end up giving him two treatments of that way, and he was all better. So, I'll see how tonight goes. There was nothing in his eyes when he woke up this morning. After like, yesterday's nap, there was still a little bit. And these are some of the finished tangerines. Do you want to break one, Amelia? Do you want to open it and see? Go ahead. I forgot to show these two. We have been munching a bit on them. Break it. It has to be really, really, yeah, it has to break really easily. So can you hold one close to the camera and break it, Amelia? Yeah. Good. So they really have to be extremely dry, or I like to put them in mason jars, so they really have to be able to, yeah, he's got it down. No problem breaking for him. Demolition master. Right, Gabe? Yay! Did
rotisserie turkey. That's right, those are my ladies. Okay, <laughs> good chicken. Meat. 